Hi guys, are you looking to master the art of video playback on your NVR system to enhance your civilian experience? Now you can say goodbye to the days of shifting through endless footage to find that crucial moment. In this exciting video, we are exploring the NVR playback and where we'll show you everything you need to know to become an NVR playback pro. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Efficient NVR playback is of importance for civilian system. First, it allows for quick retrieval and review of recorded video footage, enabling timely investigation of incidents or potential threats, enhance the system's overall effectiveness. Secondly, smooth and lag-free playback ensure critical details are not missed, facilitating accurate analysis and evidence gathering. So a well-functioning NVR playback also optimizes storage usage by effectively compressing and managing video data, reducing hardware costs and maintenance efforts. NVR playback involves assessing and analyzing previously recorded video content, allowing for in-depth scouting of events, the significance of various playback options, including fast-forward, rewind, pause, and slow motion cannot be overstated. Fast-forward and rewind function enable swift navigation through footage, saving time while seeking specific moment. Pausing aids in capturing details and slow motion playback is valuable for meticulous examination of intricate scenes and these options collectively empower users to extract comprehensive insights for recorded video footage and some advanced NVR systems even offer motion tracking automatically focusing on moving objects during playback so as you can see behind me, we have the whole security camera system and we are going to check out the advanced playback feature after we finish the connection. Let me introduce what we have here. First of all, we have the 5MP IRPOE Plus PDZ camera with 5 megapixel high resolution to provide high quality to capture details in rational distance. Also with 30 times optical zoom capability, endless 360 degree pan and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle offer an overall civilian coverage, also with the intelligent person detection. Next, we have the 5MP PoE bullet camera with very focal lens, allows you to adjust the focal length manually, giving you flexibility to zoom in and out as needed, also with vehicle and person detection. Last but not least, we have our 8MP turret camera with 4mm lens, provide a broader perspective, capture video with 8 high megapixel, giving you higher image quality and detail. And also this one here equipped with two lighting systems, the infrared LED and the white light system. And over this side, we are using a 32-channel dual HDMI network video recorder. It is a powerful device to provide HD video data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP security cameras with real-time monitoring. And what's more, it has dual Ethernet port ensure stable network connection between the NVR and the cameras, even when the cameras are confronted with temporary network outage, and provide flexibility to connect to the network camera in case of network failure. Last but not least, we are connecting to this 8-port WebSmart PoE Plus switch with 2 gigabit SFP. It suits enterprise network to build a reliable and secure PoE system. It has a 1000 megabit per second PoE port and 2 SFP combo port. Also compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts of output power per port. So you can power up our three IP cameras at the edge. So without saying, let's do the connection together. 
First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router with the network video recorder. It is already connected to the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router with the 8-port WebSmart PoE switch to provide data. Plug it in. We're connecting to three IP cameras at the edge. So go ahead and plug in three Ethernet cable and come all the way to the edge. And using PoE technology, so that's why our IP cameras can receive both power and data at the same time. As you can see, they're already powering up. Let's give it a little bit of time to display the video footage on the monitor. So I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. First, the PDZ, the bullet, and the turret's camera. And now let's check out the playback features. Now let's accessing the playback mode and go to the NVR's interface by right click it and navigate to the playback section. And here we have a lot of options you can choose from. This is common playback. This is the sync playback, allow you to choose more than one cameras you want to view footage from. And it displays as a list of camera channel. Let's select two of them. You can select the day and time range for which you want to view recording. This can be often done through a calendar or a time picker. Let's choose the dates. And here is the main playback interface. Often include a timeline displaying the selecting date and time. We're going to play it. And here we have 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours and 24 time range you can choose from. Let's choose 30 minutes so we can feel precise timeline. And the recorded segments are indicated on timeline with color-coded blocks. This is the play and pause button allows you to play and stop the video and also play it backward, stop playing it or slow playback is slowly playing the video footage so you can capture the details and also fast forward and backward you can move frame by frame for detail analysis or just jump directly to the specific time with the selected date or time range you can just click on it or you can track the timeline so it's pretty flexible so let's stop playing and go back this is the day parting you can choose the time period that you wish to see and smart express and smart searching are event-based navigation allows you to jump to specific recorded events like the motion detection or alarm you can also choose the playback speed too when we click on it and we can see a lot of color blocks here. So again, go back. This is the face search. It will detect the human movement. And when you click on it, you can see all the humans that it detected. And when you click, double click it, you can also play the video footage that it captured. Next, we have the car search, which it detect the vehicle movement. And let's click on it. And you can see all the cars, double click it. And you can pause the video and also enlarge the car plate license by enlarging it. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to back up the video footage. Click on this button here and you will see all the time. Select the time range that you want to back up and then hit the save button over here. We have a USB connected to the NVR. Let's click on it and hit back up. And here you can also choose the backup format. Let's choose MP4 and start backing it up. So this is how you backup our video footage from the NVR.
And now I'm going to show you how to view the video footage on your mobile device. But first we need to connect the NVR with the mobile phone. And I already made a video about how to connect them together and you can watch it right here. Now they're all connected together. Let's check out the device list and under the device list, click on it and we have all the channels from the NVR. Let's click channel one. And over on the right side, we have the setting menu. Click on it. Under the menu, let's find remote playback. And now we can play back the video by searching the time or the date. Let's choose July 12th that we just viewed. And we can feel it in hour or minute. And we can jump to a specific time by scrolling down the timeline. And we can speed it up or we can slow it down. Next to the speed button, we have the camera button. By hitting it, allows us to take a snapshot. And beside it, we have the recording mode Let's click on it. And now it's recording the video footage that you want to view. And then double click it to stop the video recording. So let's go back. Under remote playback, we have the video download. We can also select the video that we want and download it to our phone. And this is how you feel the playback on your mobile devices. And actually, the Dagwork Video Recorder can integrate with the VMS software so you can view the playback on the computer for central management. Now let's check it out. It's already connected and it's a live video. And now I'm going to go under Home. We have the playback option. Let's click on it. And we can also type in the time and the date. I already did July 12th. And let's just click on the video footage. When we double click it, you can view the clip. And when you want to jump to another clip, make sure you stop it and double click the other clip. And you can also take a snapshot or record the video from the monitor. And here's the green button if you want to download it, just click on it. And now it's downloading the video footage clip to your computer. And this is how you feel the playback on the VMS. And here are some more tips to optimize network video recorder playback performance. First, hardware requirements. You should have sufficient processing power, memory, and storage capacity because they're critical for smooth playback. Next, network bandwidth. Use the Gigabit Ethernet network to accommodate high resolution setting on the NVR based on the specific monitoring needs. You can use a lower resolution for less critical camera to conserve resources. Last but not least, network segmentation. If your network handles a large amount of video traffic, you should consider segmenting the civilian traffic from other data traffic by using VLAN or dedicated network switches for civilian devices. And thank you very much for watching us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling.